Hey guys, welcome back to Kasani Means. Today we're going to be doing NFL Week 14 Power Rankings. This is part two, and all that means is it's going to be the top 16 teams in the league, in my opinion. If you're looking for the bottom 16, which is going to be uh, teams number 32 to teams number 17, or team number 17, whatever, uh, that is going to be in part one. The link to that video should be popping up at the top of your screen at some point during this intro. You can go watch that one before this one, instead of this one, after this one. Watch it probably, please. Just know that it is there. Um, we're going to go ahead and get started with team number 16, which is the Panthers. They had a bye week, can't least same months. They dropped down one just because the team's moving around them, uh, and really doesn't mean anything they're still in my opinion a pretty good team they're getting Christian McCaffrey back this week I uh, if you want to know why they dropped down even though they got Christian McCaffrey back I included the fact they got Christian McCaffrey back in my power rankings last week so yes I am including the fact uh, that Christian McCaffrey's back anyways next up the Cardinals rough loss to the Rams a 10 point loss this is a game that I thought they could bounce back in I thought uh, since they needed to win this game really to stay in the playoff picture um, I thought they would go in there and at least you know put up a pretty good fight but no 38-28 loss not a terrible game but still it was a pretty rough um they just let jared goff do whatever the heck he wanted uh this cardinals defense looked terrible their offense had an off game and yeah they dropped down four can't put them below the panthers though even though the panthers did beat them uh, that was a while ago in 14th we have the raiders who somehow dropped down two despite the fact they got a win uh just ignore that. Um, uh, oh yeah, it's because they almost lost to the Jets. It was a rough. It was a rough game. Um, really, in my opinion, this this is influenced a lot by the fact that teams moving around them, but it's also influenced by the fact that they had to do a hail mary at the end of the game to the Jets, who I had dead last in my power rankings. Um, <laughs> so yeah, the Raiders had dropped down to they get a win though. If they had, if the Jets had not tanked in that last play, the Raiders would be. Uh, wait, they, the Panthers would definitely, the Raiders would definitely be at least below the Panthers. Uh, they'd be pretty far down there. Uh, but the Raiders, they dropped down too. Did not look good. Did not look good two weeks ago Um, whenever they uh, lost by 37 to the Falcons. Now they barely beat the Jets, and they're on a downward slope. Um, next up at 13th, we have the Dolphins. They jump up three. Nice 19-7 to win over the Bengals. Uh, their defense looked lights, uh, looked, I mean, they played lights out. It was insane. They only allowed seven points to that Bengals offense, which again, it isn't saying much, but still, I mean, uh, holding any team to seven points is still something to be talked about. Their offense, though, uh, only scored 19 points in that Bengals defense that hasn't actually been very good, so it don't, they don't jump up a whole lot, uh, but seeing as how a lot of teams, you know, below them moved down, uh, they are influenced a lot by teams moving around them, and also the fact their defense played lights out. In 12th, we have the Ravens who bump up to, they get a nice dominant win over the Cowboys. They needed to go in there and they needed to dominate. They didn't just need to win. They needed to go in there and get a statement win. They were on prime time and everyone was watching and they needed to show that they are still a top team. And they went in there and they played pretty well. They beat them 34-17. to It looked like a pretty good team out there. Um, I think they got the job done. I think it looked pretty good. Their defense in the first half wasn't very good. I mean, really, their whole team in the first half wasn't very good. They got benefited by a couple big plays in the first half. But in the second half is where they really turned on. They played really well. Uh, so they, they're back up from 14. They're, they're slowly moving their way back up. But still, uh, they, they got to be careful here. Yeah, just outside the top 10, we have the Colts who went in there and they got a nice uh, divisional win against the Texans. It was a lot closer than I think a lot of people thought it would be, uh, but in the end, they did get a nice win uh, against that Texans team. Um, that I mean, Deshaun Watson has been looking pretty good these past couple weeks, and with the way the Colts' defense played last week, I thought this was a. I think I thought the Colts could have been, you know, possibly moving into a trap game, but no, the Colts got a nice win. Their defense really, really stepped it up in this one, and I think the Colts uh, they definitely are looking like a really, really good team. Um, I, I think their offense. I think it played pretty well last week. I think it played pretty well this week. I don't know what to say. The Colts playing pretty well. Entering the top ten, we have the Titans who dropped down seven uh mainly due to that horrendous horrendous first three quarters they played against the browns especially that first half uh i remember when i said first three quarters they dominated the fourth quarter let's just be honest the, the fourth quarter is the reason that they was even close uh but they they just could not get anything done offensively in the first half they made this were seven points but that's about it their defense allowed 38 straight points in the not straight but 38 points in total in the first half uh the titans looked terrible uh it seems like they're looking terrible some weeks and really good other weeks and it was just i mean they're being too inconsistent for 
for me right now. Uh, yeah, that, that seven might be a bit much, but they are still in the top ten. Uh, don't don't look at how they move so much as where I have them. I still have the Titans in the top ten, but I had them at third last week. I was really overreacting. They had a couple good weeks, and I thought they were dominant. Uh, but now nah, they dropped down seven. Still, they're still probably going to make the playoffs. Um, definitely still in contention for this division. Uh, but yes, next up in ninth, we have the Buccaneers. Again, another team that was on a bye week. The Panthers and the Buccaneers um, are on bye week. So they move up mainly because, again, teams moving around, and the Titans drop down, pushes them up. Um, and, yeah, the Buccaneers get pretty lucky on their bye week, unlike the Panthers. Moving on to the top eight teams. These are teams you can probably say, hey, this season's going pretty great for them. In eighth, we have the Seahawks. Offense looked terrible. Offense looked horrible last week, uh, only scoring at 12 points. Well, no, their offense only scored 10 points. Uh, their defense had actually put up two points, um, and, it, I mean, it wasn't looking too good. Their defense also in the second half did not play very well. They shut them out in the first half. It was 5 to nothing at halftime, which was a really weird score. I kind of wish would have held out. I mean, a shutout, 5 nothing. I don't know. Has that even happened before? Uh, I'll have to look that up. But the Seahawks, um, their defense definitely in the second half didn't look all too good allowing 17 points um uh but yeah the seahawks having a couple rough games here well not a couple but they had a rough game and it was against the Giants, so they dropped down three they still are up here in the green don't be too mad seahawks fans uh, the browns jump up to they would have jumped up more had the top six not been so good in the fact that they played a pretty bad second half really especially in the fourth quarter uh that first half though it was insane if the browns had played in the second half like they played in the first half this would be a top five team for sure um but that second half just showed you know a lot of weaknesses that they had um the titans started to kind of figure them out uh, they managed to get a win they looked pretty good they move into the green for the first time this season and the, the Browns are 9-3. and three. I did not expect to hear this. I keep on expecting them just to, I, I mean, I really do expect them somehow. I think they have like over a 90% chance to make the playoffs. I really do expect them to like lose out and miss the playoffs somehow. Uh, I doubt that will happen though in all honesty. I just keep expecting it because it's the Browns. Just outside the top five, we had the Rams who bump up to a nice 10-point win against the Cardinals, 38-28. Their offense looked really, really good. Their defense has looked dominant all season and continued this game. Um, the, their offenses are really bumping them up. Their defense played about as well as, as I kind of expected. Uh, their offense, though, blew me out of the water. They jump up two, and again, they would have bumped up more had the top five not been so good. That's why it gets so iffy up here. This is why, I mean, I've considered taking these off a lot, but I figure I, it has to be there. And in the top five, we have the Packers. They bump up one nice win against the Eagles, 30-16. to um, Jalen Hurts did kind of start to get going when he first got in the game, but the Packers kind of shut that down pretty quickly. Uh, and uh, the Packers look pretty good. Uh, I don't, I'm not going to move up, move them up too much, uh, mainly because, again, they're going against the Eagles, who are one of the worst teams in the league at this point. Um, if you want to know exactly how bad I think they are, go watch part one. <laughs> but, yeah. So in fourth place, um, we have the Steelers who dropped down two. Uh, they've had a couple rough weeks. I mean, they barely beat the Cowboys a few weeks ago, and then they, they barely beat uh, the Ravens last week, and then they come in here and they get beaten uh, in the – really, they got smoked in the second half, 20-3, to and the first half it was 14-3. to So, they, I mean, they had a really good first half. If they had played in the first half or like they did in the second half, they would have dropped down a lot more, and you can say vice versa. If they had played in the second half like they did in the first half, uh, they probably would still be in second. Uh, but the Steelers uh, definitely did not play really well and have not been playing very well. However, their defense is still pretty dominant and offense has shown sparks. Uh, and is I mean, they definitely still are a top five team. Uh, Steelers fans, do not get mad that I've dropped you down this much. Um, I definitely think that uh, you are pretty overrated. Overrated. However, I think a lot of people are saying that you guys are going to lose in the wild card round are really missing some some key offense in their brain <laughs> and then with the bronze medal we had the saints who jump up for taste and had a nice bounce back performance didn't look too good last week uh, sorry that's not true for this one i don't know why i, I bad like a sheep uh, <laughs> but the saints they get a nice win of their defense went out there and held the uh, falcons to 16 points um their 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 offense though uh, yeah Taysom hill bounced back but the rest of their offense didn't actually play too well they only scored 21 points 
and but that is actually I mean looking at how well the um, looking at how well that Falcons defense played last week when they held the Saints to six points and got turnover after turnover uh, it's actually you know I mean it's not too bad that they went in there and scored 21 points did they get a nicer win though especially a divisional one they jump up for the number one seed in the NFC uh, they're the number one team in the NFC East not wow NFC I mean I don't like it NFC East uh, in second place uh, we have the Bills who jump up to Really great win uh, against the uh, against the uh, what's it called against the 49ers. Josh Allen definitely MVP of this game. He played really really lights out. Their defense held the held the 49ers to really nothing on the ground. Uh, Nick Mullins did kind of you know play a pretty good game, but the Bills uh, looked really really good out there. They jumped up to uh, not even close to number one though. The Chiefs. Their defense played really, really well. They went in there and they held the Broncos to 16 points, which I guess isn't saying much, but still holding anything to pretty low points is going to, you know, get you points in my book. Their offense did underperform. They did only go in there and score 22 points. It was enough to get a nice win, though. I do think they're still the best team in the league, um, and I think they're increasing their lead on everybody. I mean, they're just kind of, I mean, I feel like if it was a zeroth place, it would be the Chiefs. I feel like they are so much better than everyone else. Um, but, yeah, I think if the Bills keep on playing the way they are, they definitely are Super Bowl contenders, in my opinion. They have been a bit inconsistent, though, uh, which is why I wasn't, you know, close to putting them in first. And if they can be consistent over these next couple of weeks, maybe when I get to, you know, I'm, I am going to do power rankings throughout the playoffs. Maybe when I get to those, maybe they can take first place. Who knows? Um, thank you guys oh so much for watching this video. That is going to do it. Um, if you have not watched part one yet, please go watch that one now or later or whenever you please. The, the link should be um, in the info box at the top or whatever. You can go find out my channel. Whatever. We post NFL content here and, and at Carson Means every single day of the week. Um, please go ahead and subscribe and like this video. And I hope to see you in my next video. Or if you're going to go watch my last one, part one, I hope to see you in my last video. I just hope to see you again. Please come back.